right, come on in. Take a seat ringside. We are stepping through the ropes. She is Stacy. He is Mike. I am Anthony. And this is the Rocky Files. Guys, welcome to. to episode two. Hey, hey, we made right it. Stacy, Mike. Two. How you guys doing? Yo. We made it to episode two. Yo. Yo. I, you know, I, I got to tell you, who chose that music? Stacy. Stacy, that was your choice, right? All Stacy. Yeah. All Stacy. She found that beauty. I'm giving you a Grammy for that. I oh, love yeah. that music. Good, yeah, she found that. Good. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I really do. It, it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoy listening to it. As a matter of fact, I've played the opening now about 15 times just to get myself ready in the morning, you know, to yeah, shower, good. waiting Pop for up. the Keurig to, you know, do drain the coffee. <laughs> yeah, of course. Just yeah. waiting there. I know. I'll play the Rocky Files theme song. Uh, that will get me motivated. Yeah. yeah. I sure yeah. enough it does. Yeah, if the bells. Doesn't... It was the bells. You know, the, the bells. Sounds, yeah. You know, I, I loved that. Yeah. I wasn't sure the I bells were in my head. So you heard the bells too. It wasn't just me. <laughs> I did. We I all heard the bells. All right. <laughs> They're unless, not going crazy. Unless we all got a few punches. We're you, all hearing the bells. You know what? Actually, Anthony, that's a really good segue. Being a little punchy. Here's mm. the thing. Um, for all of those of you what watching, punchy? yeah, punchy. What's punchy. So punchy is when a boxer takes too many punches and they start sounding like Leon Spinks, or okay. I, I don't know if you remember what happened to Joe Frazier later in life. Yeah. He had a very difficult time with the slur speech. So uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people thought Ali was punchy, but it, right. it was Parkinson's, of course. It mm -hmm. wasn't that. Mm -hmm. So some fighters, like Riddick Bowe is a Jerry Cooney has a touch of that. I spent a little time with Jerry Cooney. And although Jerry is a nice guy, <laughs> Jerry's a little out there. And so, um, you know, these are good people, but you know, the, the punches rattle the brain. Mm, and yeah. it, you're not yeah. going to be exactly the same. So that's kind of where that comes from. Um, yeah. Or like some people say, well, hey, Pudge, I got like a relaxed brain, you know, by <laughs> Pudge. That's another, that's yeah, another that's, way of saying it. That's another it. way of saying it. Yeah, exactly. I like that better. I like exactly. a relaxed brain. I got a relaxed brain too. But here's the thing. Right now we're, we're doing, we, we've, we're trying to film these episodes in advance because mm -hmm. we're all very busy with different types of activities going on in our lives. So um, what, what we're trying to do is kind of jump ahead so that if we get so busy, we can kind of just put together these intros and outros. So we have some interviews already done. We're trying to put it all together. So if something has come out from Sly about the new Rocky re-edit or something, we may be a little behind the eight ball. But mm -hmm. we talked yeah. about this at our uh, uh, our corporate retreat on uh, when do we have our corporate retreat, guys? Wednesday. Uh, just the other, the other day. Wednesday. The other day. Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, what we day had is our, today? Our... Today's a Friday. Okay. Friday. Today's a Friday. I, I don't even know where am I. <laughs> We're going to have to keep track. <laughs> They're gonna have me back at the home by six. Corporate <laughs> retreat. Uh, I don't know. You got a day pass? You got a day I, pass. I got a day pass. Exactly. Yeah. I have my nurse is upstairs. Yeah. And she's allowing me to film. Okay. So, right. um, anyways, uh, so we do apologize if something majors happened, mm -hmm. but um, uh, we are we all agreed at our corporate retreat that we're going to probably record much closer to the release of the whenever uh, yeah, right. yeah the actual yeah, episode, the episode right yeah right, right. probably just a, a day or two before yeah we'll, we'll do our damn just to to get us there so yeah just right. keep Absolutely. that in mind and um just yeah. keep hanging in there with us yeah so our content yeah. might be a couple of weeks <laughs> yeah right <laughs> right this one anyway <laughs> right yeah you know that yeah. that's the thing so let's hope nothing major has happened or <laughs> let's good. hope something major does happen and maybe we can splice it in or something okay. yeah know. we'll always gonna right. we'll, we'll always get to it we're always gonna get yeah, to it yeah, and yeah, try yeah. to stay current because yeah uh like you said the, the corporate retreat we we have corporate retreats uh yeah. about this it's a wow. lot of guys very fancy ones very fancy, fancy ones see a lot of people don't understand what goes into the rocky files i was we, just gonna say it's a lot of work it's a lot of work and we have probably a, at this point we have about 67 68 employees who are yeah. really doing it all for free they're not even Ooh. being paid That's and right. they flew they flew to where do we have it at saskatchewan we, we yeah. went a little cooler so we went up we went up <laughs> to the great white north and yeah. we we had it in Saskatchewan. I don't know where I'm going with this. I, yeah, I no, it, I don't know. Save him, Anthony. We brought it up to Canada. Save him, we, brought help me. Up, we brought it up to Canada because you know it's 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 yeah, it's, maybe it's a little bit cooler up here. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a little bit cooler. Canada Day. Canada what, what, Day. Day. Happy yeah. Canada Day. We just had that. But, you know, some uh, of us Americans call it Canada Day. Canada, Canada. Day, right? <laughs> Canada. Hey. But but we may. Hey. Hey. We may hey. <laughs> Too, which is unbelievable after 
last uh, episode one, Sly's yeah. birthday episode. Uh, yeah. So we made yeah. episode two, which is unbelievable. Yeah. But well, here we are. Here we are. It's not like we can get canceled. It's not like, you know, that's the beauty that's of, of the podcast world right. is that you can't get canceled. We're not on network where, you know, they look at ratings. Yeah. Although viewers can cancel us in a way. Because in a heartbeat. If they don't like our, you know, what we're all about and yeah. there's nobody watching and it's just the three of us, what's the point really? But well, and, and, and then <laughs> you, you're we still have right. to keep it up. Exactly. Exactly. I've experienced <laughs> well, that firsthand. Yeah. I started out on another podcast with like 400 people watching. I and, heard there was, you were on something. <laughs> yeah, I was on something else. And then by the time yeah. we got to the 10th episode, we had like Ooh. four people watching. Yeah, so right. clearly... <laughs> I screwed up and did something very, very wrong. I don't, I don't and know, I don't know what, what it was. I don't know about that. It all, I don't know it all what it was. Out. But, it all worked but out. I went here. to I went to podcast school and mm -hmm. uh, I went for three months and yeah. I have a degree and I, yeah. I mean I wrote it myself. But so here we are. And yeah. our big thing is talking about the fans. And I gotta oh, yeah. I wanna I wanna tell you guys a, a quick little something. Um I had this tour yesterday with this um, a young lady from Chicago. Her name oh. was Amy. Did you see what I posted on Instagram? I love her. Yes. She yes. was dynamite. Yeah. She mm -hmm. was a ball of rocky energy. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. She was on fire. fire. Yeah. Fire. When I, I mean, any human who goes to the lengths of getting a several tattoos yeah. lives the life, the philosophy of Rocky. Yeah. She was so dead on straight on everything she knew about yeah. the the franchise and then of course what i was telling her all the behind the scenes stuff she was completely blown away she got yeah. very emotional at several locations and, and i thought uh, here is someone that i would love to get on our podcast absolutely yeah. right yeah yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah, it's, yeah it's in the works but we definitely yeah have to, definitely want to talk to her she, she was just i mean just I, the sincerity, you know, yeah. with what you posted, I was like, "Oh yeah. my gosh, we have to yeah. get her." She was, I, yeah, she, I really uh, enjoyed her. Enjoyed her and her fiance. Um, I don't know if his boyfriend or fiance. He <laughs> was so amazing. See, I don't like to take tours uh, the first four days in July because Philadelphia is, as Rocky would say, mentally irregular. It gets a little <laughs> crazy with uh, the 4th of July and the fireworks and all this. And after yeah. COVID, it's it's, just, it's nuts right now. Right. So uh, yeah. yesterday was Hoagie Day, uh, Wawa well, well, Hoagie Day, and it, the streets were shut down. The, the madness has already started. But he wrote me such a beautiful letter, what Rocky meant to Amy. And so uh, I wow. said, well, this is who I made my tours for. I cannot let this, 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 person down right, and we right. did the tour and i i'm such a better person for it she was so yeah. inspiring to me so well i'm not going to say much more about it. i'm gonna let her come on and tell her yeah. story which is is quite riveting and mm. um we'll go from we here. have to have her on because that's what yeah. we made this podcast yeah. for yeah, but, yeah. right for fans have about fans yeah. by fans yes. yeah yeah exactly yeah exactly. absolutely no, yeah she she, really she looked she looked like a blast we gotta have her on and 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 seeing your little clip i was getting emotional too yeah because uh, you see how she was into it. And I put myself, because I really want to come. I, yeah. I, yeah. I really yeah. I hope come. to get and, you guys down here. We have to get, just, we have to be there at the same time. <laughs> I would love that. We have to, have to coordinate that. Could we do yeah. a show from there? Wouldn't that be amazing? Sure we can. Wouldn't that sure be Sure we can. <laughs> see? Awesome. Yeah. Brainstorming as we go. But watching, seeing her, that Mickey's gym with the railway yeah. and yeah. the bridge and the overpass yeah. and, you know, all of that. That's... Mm -hmm the biggest imagery for me, yeah. maybe everybody else too, but sure. I put myself standing there and man, I just want to lean against that pole that I know yeah. Rocky found Tommy gun. Tommy like gun. I just want to, yeah. I just want to, exactly. Oh man, I just want to, yeah. Just to think about being there. I probably would feel the same way. So I can right. imagine. Right. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. And I like that. I like that dynamic. I think I'm going to do more of that mm -hmm. with fans as as I go through my Rocky tours. I think I'm going to start recording a little bit more, putting it out there. Maybe we'll use some of the video for, for the podcast, you know, mm -hmm. and, and integrate that a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. uh, because, again, that's my biggest pleasure I have in working and doing these tours it's about the fans and, and hearing yeah. how Rocky has inspired them and profoundly changed their lives. Mm -hmm. It's um, you know, I always tell people, I don't know if I said this in the first episode or not, but for me, you, I, I believe you can only see Rocky once for the first time. And mm -hmm. I am all that high. I got to my soul was, 
it, it took me to places I never could have imagined. So I'm always chasing that high. And the closest I have found is doing these tours. Yeah. <clears throat> when, I, when I bring people for the very first time, they see it and I get to see their reactions. Yeah. And to yeah. me, it's a, it's a very profound moment. I get very caught up in emotional myself. I have to remember I'm leading this <laughs> tour. So I have to stay somewhat grounded. That's why people yeah. love it though. Yeah, you, that's why people so love it. Personal. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, the compliments you get, yeah. they go on and on about how fantastic your tour is and how the facts yeah. you knew and how sincere you are and that, that's, that's part of it that's part to of me it, yeah. that's part of it yeah what Definitely. i think that's the power of the character mm -hmm. i i do i i think that that is all about what rocky represents it's that entire philosophy it's like i always equate the rocky philosophy to like 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 the force in yeah. star wars yeah yeah it, it is it, it's it is I, and a lot of people have goofed on me and people will be watching this and they'll be just rolling their eyes like, okay, Kunda, uh, let's oh, move it along. But I, I, and I understand that. that, that and they're kind of right to goof on me for that. I understand that. But it is a philosophy that the three of us, I think, reflect on and have lived the majority of our lives by. Mm -hmm. And and when you yeah. encounter someone else who's a complete stranger, mm -hmm. yet they still have that philosophy, you're mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, let's Let's have a coffee. Let's yeah. let's talk. But yeah. in this world, it gets complicated to do such things when a stranger comes up to you and you can't do that. So right. on a tour, I I get to I don't know connect yeah. with people, and you know? and that's what we like to think of this as the extension of that. Yeah, because the tour, yeah. how yeah, can that's you? Good point. Yeah, you don't have a lot of time to you know you can interact with them for a little bit, but you don't have a lot of time to do it. So yeah. here's the extension of. If you meet someone amazing and yeah. you want to sit down and have a coffee, let's have it here. Right. And let's yeah. talk to these people. This is their voice. This is I mean, what, you have an right. endless source of potential you have guests. an endless store. And, yeah. and, and what know? a great guest you got by doing yeah. the tour. She's yeah. going to be awesome. So, you yeah. Know? That's yeah. what we're all about. I, yeah. th I, th I think we, that's right. It's a natural extension, I think, of the tour to this, which is, again, why I'm really glad the both of you convinced me to do something like this because <laughs> I was yeah, good. I was, I was hanging it up. You were hanging no it up. Way. Don't need to do another <laughs> podcast. You're hanging no. the gloves. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I learned my lesson from that yeah. disaster. But no. uh, so that's, that's good. That That's good. Yeah. No, uh, that's 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 what we're all about. That's, that's, yeah. that's what we want to do. That's who we want to hear from. So. We're, we're, that's what we're yeah. going to try to do. Exactly. Stacy, yeah. Mike, how was your week? How was your week, guys? What happened this week? Stacy, I... you go ahead. I've been monopolizing. Stacey. You go ahead. What, well, what did you get up to this week? Uh, <laughs> today's been, uh, this week has been a little bit slow. I mean, Sarah and I were working a lot on the opener, so we had yeah. a lot of fun with that. And, you know, Anthony, you sent us a ton of clips. And uh, I learned a lot about Final Cut and why we let young people. <laughs> Uh, right, <laughs> right. I, you know, you think you're tech savvy, and then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not tech savvy at all. And you know, yeah, lining up the movements, you know, of of who who's ever in the shot with the beat of the music. I, yeah, you know, that's the, if, that's if I didn't have her, I I'd still be working on it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So she, yeah, it makes so. you makes you think about uh, you know editors. Uh, you you yes. you overlook these people, right? Right. Right. You watch movies. And then at the end of, you see the credits and you're yes. you see editor. You're like, Oh, whatever. Who's that? What are they wow. doing? The hours. Yeah. This was 53 seconds or uh, not yeah, even a, a minute. It, right. Uh, I, I'm like, I can't even imagine editing two hours of a movie. Of Can a you feature imagine? Film. Yeah. Without, it's, like, right. It's going right. This is very small yeah. potatoes compared to that. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, a whole new respect for, for editors the, the editor. uh, has been gained. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. absolutely. All to all the editors, shout out to all them. <laughs> for sure. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I gotta run something week. by I gotta run something by you guys real quick. This is just general life stuff, okay? Because mm. here's what happened to me this week. Before we get into our awesome interview that we have, we're gonna talk about that soon. So this week, and tell me if I'm wrong. I'm at Costco the other day, all right? Yeah. All right? Love Costco. So I'm at I'm at Costco. I go in the store get my stuff, come out. It's gas time. It's time to get some gas before I go home. So there's a, you know, this Costco I have here, large lineup to get the gas. Yes. I'm a nice guy. I'm trying to get in. Okay. Nobody's letting me in. Nobody's letting me in. So, so I thought I was in line. 
I was in line. All wow. of a sudden, I got cut out of the line that I am driving. And there's a lane beside the line. I drive alongside the lane and go into the gas area. It was wide open. I got caught for budding. Guys, what, what is call that? Call me out. Am I, did I butt in line? Oh, like cut in line? Did I cut in line? I don't think so. Who, who <laughs> called you out? Does somebody in line called you out? No, the Costco gas attendants called me out. They came up to me and said, we saw you cut in line. I have a pickup truck, so I'm pretty sure I got caught the whole way. Somebody saw me the whole way. Am I a, am I a cutter? Uh, they they probably didn't see how long you were waiting. They probably didn't right, notice right. how many times you got cut off, and you were just trying to get in. Just trying to get in, but I don't know. Am I am I a cutter? You 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 tell no. me. Uh, here's what I'm just. The only thing I'm going to add to that is yeah. Go ahead. In, we have the Costco's I go through here in Philadelphia. If the Costco's attendant in Philadelphia came out and said that to someone, they'd have the windshield <laughs> cleaning brush shoved up their backside. That, yeah, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, that, yeah, it wouldn't happen. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't it, dare. Uh, they wouldn't yeah, dare. our Costco guy would go, "Hey, figure it out for yourselves. <laughs> I'm busy over here. <laughs> right, right. That's what uh, they would do. We're too nice over here again. Yeah, but you know." Yeah. I, I had a few choice words for the for the for the two God. gentlemen that 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 accosted me for, for cutting in line like I was in grade school. But you know, I just wanted to uh, you know that's a little thing that happened. Annoying. Cut or uncut. Cut or uncut. I don't know. Yeah, Whatever. Uh, it is I, what I it think is. people discharge. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has so much crap in their lives. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? And they're mad about God knows what. Work. You got family. it. Right. You got it. Yeah. And then something like this happens, and that's like where they discharge Let all that frustration. Yeah. you know it's like is it really about me cutting you in line yeah. Are you, yeah. right really right that bad? was that right. was this yeah. the worst thing to happen to you in your life this is it yeah right right exactly. nothing else going on you gotta cut you gotta call the guy who yeah right. possibly cut in line i'm not even sure if it's right 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 line. you were waiting you said i was you waiting said you were waiting yeah. and waiting so i'm I was sure waiting that, that's my guess he didn't notice Unreal. how long you were waiting yeah. true on well mm. thank you i didn't cut well. this <laughs> Mike, what about you? How your week? You found a guest? Any other? You, uh, so yeah, so I've been just busy with tours. Uh, great tours. It's been uh, really fantastic. The worst thing that happened to me this week was uh, a massive, massive accidents on 76. So oh. I live. I live about 20 minutes outside the city, and on a really good day, I can get from my driveway to the rocky steps in about 33 minutes. I very quickly I can get there, as opposed to the two hours it would take before I moved. So wow. it took me almost two and a half hours to get there. And I had to go through like the back roads and country roads back through Villanova. If you've ever heard of Villanova university, yep. you had to go back through yep. Villanova and come down. And this is where like Patty LaBelle lived and all the big mansions are out there. So it was a lovely drive going through there and mm. you see all these big mansions, but it was extremely time consuming. And before I had gotten there, the problem was my ways, ways, the driving yeah. system ways, yeah, ways, the roads were being closed faster than ways could be updated. So it kept oh. rerouting me in a circle and I had to figure it out on my own. So I just had to look at a map like we used to do, you know, a hundred years ago hey, before yeah. Google. Wow. Oh, all right. Remember that? Yeah. This? With the lines. Right, right, right. And trying to figure that? out, you know, route 202 goes into 422 and then it comes off of 33. Yeah. Oh, but if I take this through yeah. Golden State I, route. How about know. the, do you guys have up here? We have the map, map book. It was called Pearly's. Did you have the Pearly's map book? Uh, no, we had another one. I forget what it was called. It, it was Rand, called Pearly's Rand here. McNally. We're Rand, Rand McNally. McNally. Oh, yeah. okay. here, yeah. here we call the Pearly's. And I don't know if it was the same for you, but while you were driving, and they talk about how uh, texting and, 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 and driving is dangerous. Yeah. You remember driving with this thing on your lap, and then you would find the street, and it would have to continue four pages down? Right, yes. right, right. And yeah, as yeah. you're driving, you'd have to yeah. skip to we, the next page. That's more we, dangerous than texting and driving yeah. ever was. We, we'd have we'd have that on uh, the trip ticket. Uh, 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 AAA would give you this trip ticks. Right. Yes. Trip ticks. Yes. Yeah, my father would have taken one. It was crazy. I remember yeah. we went to Philadelphia for the very first time. Uh, for I was like fourteen years old, and my dad, uh, my mother, and father put together a birthday present, which was me getting to the Italian market and the Rocky Steps, running them. That was my birthday present for the very first time. Oh, that's he amazing. Had to, he had to use a, a trip tick to get there. So that <laughs> wow. is a th that is a throwback. But is the <laughs> Is there any, uh, have you heard anything, guys, about um, could Sly possibly be the voice one day on, on Waze? Wouldn't that be amazing if Rocky be was, was the directional 
voice on Waze? I thought you, you know could. I thought you could get on some of them. I think you can. I mean, it's can not really his it? voice, but they they you know get. No, like, I want actual Rocky Sly Stallone <laughs> voices. Waze. Stallone. You know how Waze is doing that. I don't know if you guys have it. Every once in a while, they'll throw you know Christmas time Santas, you know, or whatever. I have a Batman. Yeah. Batman, Yoda, right? Yeah. Well, they, boy, boy, boy George. George is the new one. Yeah. And Sean Connery. Those oh, are yeah, the Sean ones Connery. that are on there that you yeah. can do. Yeah. I want Rocky to tell me which so, way to beat traffic. That would be amazing. Yeah. That, would be- <laughs> that, that, that would be very, very interesting. Right? Now, Anthony, you said you had some uh, some interesting thoughts on on uh, Rocky. We were talking a little earlier yeah. uh, about some little little tidbits on, on the, the fight about Rocky. What were we talking about? Yeah, I about found a, a couple of just uh, silly fun facts uh, yeah. uh, about uh, Rocky 1. And I don't know if everyone knows this. Or if Stacy knows this either, I'm sure Mike knows this. But Rocky won the Apollo Balboa fight. To get spectators to sit ringside at the Los Angeles Sports Arena, they offered everybody a free chicken dinner to watch the shooting. Four thousand people showed up. Wow! To watch the shoot. That's that's how you get people to come and watch. I mean, it's easier now if everyone was like, "Hey, want to come watch Creed?" whatever yeah Yeah. i'm sure everybody would show up but back then when it wasn't known free chicken dinner four thousand people free chicken dinner yeah at the at the olympic auditorium coliseum or olympic auditorium in uh, downtown los angeles that's where they film the fights yeah and they gave in these styrofoam containers these this chicken wing dinner and (laughs) stallone tells this funny story about how fans are throwing the chicken wings (laughs) <laughs> at each other and at the towards the ring, like just crazy. Yeah, but this is what they had to deal with. Like right. it, it, it was crazy. Yeah, it was just it was unbelievable. It was yeah, uh, just just to get people to come. Another one I found is yeah. Adrian's hesitation to kiss Rocky in the apartment. Everyone remembers that one. Yeah, she's kind of yeah. not into it. Right. It wasn't originally scripted that way. Talia Shire was suffering from the flu during filming. She was afraid of getting Stallone sick. What right, happened? Right. A better scene, actually, because right. everyone remembers sure. that one, right? Right. Exactly. And exactly. Some rumor Sly apparently caught Talia's flu. Uh, right, right. And when they went on to shoot Rocky's training scenes uh, in Mickey's gym, apparently he had a fever. So thank you, Talia. Okay. <laughs> apparently, this is apparently. It, was, it was helping apparently. him sweat to make it, it look helping more him sweat it out. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. Helping <laughs> him sweat all- it out. Carefully orchestrated. Yeah. I love that, these fun facts. I, yeah. I really, I love all these like behind the scenes yeah. uh, things They're that you brilliant. don't know about. These are brilliant. They're, it's almost, I, they the, are. I love all of that for, you know, any movie. I always love the behind the scenes stuff. Or you outtakes. Get, you, or outtakes. You would get DVDs. Yeah. I always yeah. wanted to see, you know, the Easter egg or the behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish there was more of Rocky. You know, well, here's because- a here's a here's a really fun fact. Before we move on to our interview, yeah, this is a, this is part of a, a great conversation I had with Sly. Did I tell you guys about the gun and the knives in Rocky's apartment? No, Ooh. in the first movie, I can't remember if you did. No, tell us. Yeah. So so when Rocky enters his apartment and he uh, takes his jacket off, he hangs it on a machete that's stuck in the woodwork. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then he Rainbow goes in the making. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So become. then he goes around the corner and he's got the mirror and he's telling the joke about the fish food fly okay. moths getting stuck in the right, turtle's there's throat. There's more flies than moths. Exactly. So he takes his hat off and he hangs it on a brass knuckled bayonet jammed into the wall. Oh my gosh. Now, you in back of him is the punching bag, the, the yeah. mattress. Yeah. It's right. rolled up. Right, and the springs right. are popping it's all through beat it. up. Right. He used it as a punching bag. If you look carefully at that from several different angles, you will see the handle of a Buckmaster knife stabbed through the mattress into the wall, holding it in place. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Then the final coup d'etat here is when Adrian is in the apartment with him and he reintroduces Adrian to the turtles in the bull. And he says, yeah, I know I got you sold them to me. Remember, I got them. I got the mountain. The mountain kept flipping over. You know, I had to take it out. So then he moves to the couch. And as he's moving to the couch, we see the two windows in back of him Mm -hmm. and hanging between the windows is a hunting rifle. Um, It's it's actually the same type of rifle used by Oswald to kill Kennedy. Oh, so so for decades, this has aggravated me. Why does he have a gun, much less the knives? 
Yeah. So I asked him that on the set of Creed 2. We were outside of the Victor Cafe speaking for the better part of an hour. Mm -hmm. And he goes, nobody ever asked about the gun. Here's the, <laughs> here's the story of the gun. Here comes Mike. <laughs> so, yeah. He goes, oh, my God. He, he sees. I'm just like a walking encyclopedia. Yeah. With blank pages. They need to be filled. Yeah. But he, he was more than happy to help fill those pages. He filled them. Yeah. So here's the thing. It was all about armament. It doesn't matter necessarily how he has acquired these items. Um, the the um, the knives. Rocky sees it as art. Mm -hmm. Armament is art, and so right. he he hung like it on the wall. Yeah, right. Yeah. So like we like you guys have your artwork in back of you. I've got yeah. my artwork on the walls. That's somewhat normal, but Rocky sees armament. Now the gun itself is was handed down in the Stallone family from father to son for generations. Oh, and Stallone wanted to put that in there mm -hmm. with a little, I guess for lack of a better word, I guess you could call it somewhat of an Easter egg for mm -hmm. the Stallone yeah. family. Sure. And and I don't even think Sly knows where that gun is. Maybe his brother has it, but I don't think so. Um, oh, really? That sounds like something mm. Frank would have put out on mm -hmm. Instagram because right. he, he puts out some great Stallone family history stuff. Yeah, he does. And, and I, uh, mm. yeah, yeah. So I, I'm, I, w I wonder where that gun is, but anyways, that's the little story there. I thought I'd throw that in. Yeah. That's, oh, that's amazing. Neat. Yeah. That that's is neat. so neat. That is the stuff that the little personals. Yeah. The keen eye yeah. Mike. Mm. Yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. The Mike keen eye can see. Yeah. I've probably seen that movie. I don't know how many times. No, right, you know, my eye goes. Exactly. You know, I follow Stallone around. I don't. Right. I right. <laughs> yeah, what's that next right. one he's doing? Right. Yeah, from right. now on, I'm gonna look not at Sly and see if <laughs> I can see everything that you see. Because wait, do you see? I'm I missing have a lot of stuff. I have so many more things as the podcast go on. I have so many stories like that, yeah. and I have a lot of replicas here. Uh, yeah. to show yeah. people uh, what I'm talking about. And yeah. so anyways, yeah. you know, lots more great stuff to come. Anyways, yeah. what do we have coming up now? Well, that I was an amazing segue talking about the yeah. uh, the guns and the knives because right. uh, we mm -hmm. have an amazing interview coming up. Uh, he's a U.S. Marine. His name is Austin. And uh, Mike, you know him pretty well. Yeah, Austin took the tour um, a little while back. He and his uh, his his uh, wife, and they, they were just a wonderful, wonderful, sincere uh, couple. And mm -hmm. it was a, a a very stressful time in my life when they took the. There was a lot of things going on uh, that he he was a he was a very calming um, presence on the tour for me, and I was I was very fortunate to have him on the tour. And um, you know, we uh, we recently did an interview with them, and. Yep. Uh, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to, after the break, we're, we're going to play it. Hey, Sly. My name is Eric Schopenty. I'm a staff sergeant in the United States Marine Corps, currently stationed overseas in Okinawa, Japan. Just want to say thank you for everything you've done. Your Rocky character has transcends and has got me through a lot of stuff from my childhood up until now. So thank you for creating that wonderful character and keep punching. Guys, I am so excited today. I have a friend of mine that we're going to be talking to who took the tour. His name is Austin Gomez. And I'll tell you what, this guy has got such a great story. First of all, he's a Rocky fan. And that's almost the most important thing. But <laughs> I think the first important thing is that he is a Marine and he has given his best to keep all of us safe. And for that, I want to thank this guy when we bring him on. And he's really amazing. So, Anthony, if you could bring in our guest. Here he comes. Austin. Hey, Say hello, up, buddy. How are you? Hey. There he is. Welcome to the Rocky Files podcast, my friend. How are you? It's dedication because uh, I clocked in and I'm in a remote location at work, hoping I don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you see, they won't this say is, anything to you, will they? This, this is uh, why I should be fine. You're you're one of America's best, and so we we all just really want to thank you for just you know keeping everybody safe and yeah. you know. Yeah. Doing your, your your time in the Marines. So thank you, my friend. Oh, no thank worries. you so no much. Worries. Yes. Mm -hmm. No worries. So we are here on this second episode of our Rocky Files podcast. And we thought we would talk to what I would consider arguably one of the biggest Rocky fans. And I got to know that because you took one of my world famous tours, the Yo Philly Rocky Film Tour, where you can book. Just go find me on Instagram or <laughs> online. But <laughs> back to Yo our Philly guest. Rocky Film Tour. <laughs> yes, at the Yo Philly Rocky Film Tour. 
How amazing was it, Austin? <laughs> you know, the tour was amazing. It was everything that I imagined and more. Uh, it's funny because I was looking for tours to take, and I was up. At, it was probably like two in the morning. I'm just browsing uh, YouTube videos because I don't do cable or anything. I don't want to pay for it. But um, yeah, I just found, I came across Rocky tours, and I came across Mike's story, and I came across him doing a Rocky tour, and I, I just said, "This." is probably the most amazing thing I have ever seen that <laughs> someone would take, put their time and effort into a tour. So then I yeah. told the wife about it and the wife was excited, but not as excited as me, obviously. And, uh, <laughs> I dragged the wife along too. And she thought it was amazing. Were you, um, nice. were you looking specifically for Rocky tours? Were you looking, were you, I was, did I you was type in Rocky tours for Rocky tours? Cause I wanted to go to Philly, nice. but I'm like, if I'm going to do it, I wanted to take a tour. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and, and also, what is it about Rocky for you that you made the drive to Philly to take? Why are you a fan? I'm just a huge fan, just like kind of like similar to your story, how it just kind of reached in and grabbed you by your DNA. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But I must have been yeah. fifth, fourth or fifth grade. And, you know, Rocky reruns would come on all the time. And I was just yeah. enamored. I was. I was drawn in, if you will, uh, yeah. by just the first Rocky movie. I would watch it over mm. and over again. And yeah. uh, Rocky kind of became, he became like a real person to me, someone I could lean on no matter what I was going through. And it, right. still yeah. to this day, it's someone I can, you know, I can quite literally, I can lean on Rocky to get me out of things or motivate me, yeah. or push me <laughs> to uh, yeah. another level. So yeah. that's what yeah. it is for I'll me. Why do you think Austin? That a lot of people, uh, including myself, we we talk about that. That he, the movies, the character draws you in. What do you think it is about the character, about the movie, that does that to pretty much everybody who who loves them, uh, loves the movies as much as we do? What do you think it draws them be, in? It might be the cliche answer, but it's really because he's the everyday man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's the everyday man, but he's also the underdog. And how many times have we found ourselves being the underdog? And that's where I found myself going yeah. into the Marine Corps. I was really out of shape, right? I was fat. I was out of shape. I didn't think I could do it. And everybody was telling me I couldn't do it. My own family was telling me I couldn't do it. Uh, I had my own parents try to talk me out of doing the Marine Corps. Oh. And then once I got in there, into the Marine Corps, I didn't start boot camp right away. I had to do a physical conditioning platoon. Right. So I had to do that for like two, three weeks, which was pure, pure hell. I mean, you're just waking up and getting just worked out from sun yeah. to sundown. And then once I finally start, and every day is training day zero, right? Yeah. So yeah. once you get out of there and you start, then it's training day one, two, and then that's the motivation, right? To start one, two, three, four, and you're getting there. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that whole, that whole entire time I'm going through hell, even starting boot camp and going, you know, Rocky is just there for me Yeah. when I'm running and, yeah. you know, as I'm getting further along in boot camp and I'm getting towards the end, I'm in shape, I'm fit. It's just like Rocky. It's like, I got in shape, you know, I'm, I'm running up the steps and I'm, I'm, I'm gasped and, you know, now I'm at the end and right. I'm running. Up, right? Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, doing all the stuff in boot camp, you know, when I'm running my hardest, I'm thinking I'm Rocky running down the road with yeah. little kids behind me and I just take off. <laughs> that's what yeah. I'm thinking. That's amazing. I'm I love that. Yeah. And I have that image in my head, you know. Um, yeah. You know, and when you do the Marine Corps, like the physical fitness test, you have to run three miles. Yeah. And you have to, depending on your age, you have to do it in about 24, 25, 26 minutes. I did it okay. in eight minutes and 30 seconds one time. Nice. Oh, nice. And wow. Rocky was a boost for you yeah. doing that. It, well, yep. I did the pull-up section right before, and the guy didn't count some of my pull-ups. So I got really like, you know, I'm going to, all right. So the <laughs> yeah. Run, and I'm like. It's getting right, mad. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. you can't cheat or run that everyone's looking at you. You can't. Yeah. So. And, you know, I I was a little bit bigger of a guy, too. I mean, I was in shape or whatever. But yeah, I but was, you're taller, though. You're, you're yeah. a taller guy, yeah. Uh, about six foot, so. Yeah. But all these little skinny guys and whatnot, I took off with all of them. 
and I hauled the mail mm. and nice. I said, all of them. When one of them tried to pass me, it was the, it was the Rocky moment, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I, and I ran and I did it. That's amazing. Do, do they, do they allow you to have Rocky music in your ears while you're doing it? No. <laughs> Probably not, right? Probably no. not. Uh -uh. It's in your head. It's yeah. in your head. Yeah. Brain in your head. <laughs> exactly. Also, let me ask you this, because I forget, I forget what you told me on the tour. Um, if you, I got two questions. If you had one Rocky movie to choose, what's your favorite? Again, cliche, but it's it's Rocky one all yeah. the way. And honestly, after that, it's not the popular answer, but Rocky four. Yeah. I love <laughs> love love Rocky four. Me and too. I, yeah. Just like Mike, you don't love it as much. I yeah. Know you don't it's you love Rocky Four, right? But you don't love it as much. That's how I feel about yeah. Rocky. I gotcha. Love it as much as the others, but I still love it. If it's on TV, of course. I'm watching it. Yeah. But no, Rocky huh. Four is my next favorite, next to Rocky One. Gotcha. And, it, and it's the scene in Rocky Four where they're taking cheap shots after after the bell, and it starts to you know the music starts to amp up. Right. Mm -hmm. War. It, yeah. It doesn't matter. Anytime I watch it, it's goosebumps down the spine. Yeah. <laughs> body is like yeah oh, you know yeah, that, yeah. i just yeah. get oh, you know and yeah. that was my second question what is your favorite moment from any of the rocky movies would it be that moment you just described no i think my most favorite from any of the rocky movies is when he talks to his son and he gives him the speech right oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Rocky Bob, ball. that's just yeah. it's you, it, yeah there's a lot of close seconds, but yeah. that's particular because it just it hits me hard because I've sure things, whether it be the Marine Corps or when I became a firefighter or a paramedic, mm -hmm. I always had people telling me you can't, you can't, you can't. But Rocky was so right, right, right. You know, yeah, yeah. You can't let others do and tell you and point a finger in your face, right? So so yeah. true. Real life, it's exact. But, Stallone writes real life, and that's why it's yeah, yeah, yeah. right. That speech is so amazing, and yeah, anytime you look up a motivational video, it is in there. It's either number one or yep. it's somewhere in there. Every time you look up inspirational, right. mm -hmm. motivational, anything, that speech is in there. Yeah. And another one that's so overlooked is the the speech where he's in the court. I think yeah. that gets overlooked too. That yeah. is such a another right. motive that it's not because that one always trumps it. But yeah. where he's trying to convince them in the courtroom mm -hmm. with that speech, right? That's another one. It's just unbelievable. Whenever you watch it, oh yeah, yeah, it's I like, agree. Spirit, right? I mean, it's just say right it again. Out. It's like raw human emotion, right? Like the raw human yeah. that comes out in a lot of the movies that really just. Yeah just resonates with me right so, yeah exactly yeah. rocky rocky for you know we always talk about this with mike and stuff and stacy that rocky four doesn't have it it needs a little bit more of the heartfelt from mm -hmm. all the other rockies mm -hmm. yeah but for motivation yeah it's gotta it's gotta be the tops if you just want some raw mm -hmm. motivation power to get through something it has right. to great, be training. great training great training amazing training, amazing training. And, and like one okay, right so, after another which was great so maybe maybe the four of us can answer a question i've had for decades maybe okay. i'll ask sly when i see him in philly in a few months you know here's the thing like how i just name drop like that <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed you're allowed to do that sorry i i try so hard not to do that but i was really I was really feeling good. All right. So here's the question I've had, and I've never asked Sly this. When Rocky in Rocky Four, he's running through the woods, all right, through the rivers, he's going through the train to the music, climbs up the side of the mountain, screams Drago. How does he get back to the cabin? <laughs> A helicopter, I'm sure. I've always <laughs> wondered that myself. How does this he get back down? Kind awesome. Of what do you think? <laughs> I mean, that is a great question. And Paulie I, shows up with the robot and the propeller, yeah. and they carry him off the side. Does he drive the Trans Am up the mountain? I mean, I don't know. Maybe he shoots hook, and you know he cliffhangers down, and you know. Maybe yeah, he cliffhangers he, right. down. Right. Yeah. And, you know, Gabe yeah. Walker shows up, and he just yeah. hops on. <laughs> that is kind of funny. I've always wondered that question. I know. I know. Or maybe the so guys that were him when he was training, they drove up Oh, there. right. 
I think. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, they yeah. Do. The guys that were chasing them give they them give them a lift down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For the record, I, th I this is unconfirmed, but I think the caretaker's name, his name in the, in real life is George Papasic. He was the trainer that trained Stallone for uh, Rambo Two and Rocky Four. Uh, he had the Santa Monica Fitness Center uh, in California. Uh, I think he still has it, but it's a little smaller now. Uh, but anyways, I think his name as the caretaker was Fidor, which is a very odd name. But I guess it makes sense since it's, it's Russian, right. I guess. Wait, I don't know. Wait a minute, Mike. He wasn't yes. Russian? He wasn't Russian? He, he, I, think he, I think the man himself he wasn't run. I think he was actually Hungarian. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, Stacy, what kind? Of, what do you got for uh, for Austin? What's on your mind? Well, I um, I love the what's the the parallel between Austin, your life, and Rocky's life is the fact that everyone was telling him no, and you oh, kept man. going and you kept going. I I love that. That is that is exactly the same. Uh, from Rocky's experience and your experience, even some of the closest people telling you you can't do it, and you yeah. still go and 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 not the not just small things like the Marine. <laughs> I mean, that's right. that is yeah. massive. And yeah, it's not like you're running. It's not like you're running a a one a, a, yeah, a one k <laughs> at the city park, right? For a plastic trophy, like. It's like Stacy, like you said, it's the freaking Marines, man. Yeah, I mean that's a big deal. And my yeah. my other question for you, given that you were in the military, if we can jump over to Rambo for a minute, because <laughs> you know, with the military, you know, yeah. I was just curious what you thought about Rambo, and did you find inspiration there in the middle of all your military years? Oh, sure, and. Um... It what was it the uh, it was the fourth Rambo. What was the self titled Rambo? Correct. Where, you know he's got that band and the guy's got the big fifty cal sniper and they're running through the jungle and they got to save those people and <laughs> that that to me that was my favorite Rambo because it was so like just blood and guts and real and you know what I mean. Yeah, but yeah that was the yeah. next question. I was curious, you know, but, especially uh, from a military uh, man, how real it felt. The Marine Corps <laughs> Rambo was a big thing and. You know, and that movie came out around the time back when I served. So, I mean, that was a big deal, too. You know, all the right. guys watching that. I mean, it was amazing. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, 100 percent. So, Austin, let me ask you this. Um, if you're in a elevator with Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> I think this is going to be my go to question. I ask everybody as we wind yep. down interviews. If you're in yep. an elevator with Sylvester Stallone and you've got 30 seconds to tell him something. What do you say to Sly? Well, firstly, I would say you're the biggest motivation I've ever had in my life. But secondly, and honestly, if I'm actually near, like, I want to tell him how big of a thing Rock meant to me. But if I want to get that out of the way, right? But my yeah. one question, unrelated to anything, how did you actually, how did the three seashells work? <laughs> I want to know how that actually works. <laughs> well, you never know, Austin. You you may get an answer. You, you might just get an. That's answer. a great question. I, All right, I know it's not Rocky related, but yeah. All right, now listen. One last thing before I let you go. I know you're a busy guy. I know you're at work. We're trying to put together this happy birthday message thing. So, okay. Anthony, do you think if Austin says a quick happy birthday message, you can edit it, out, like take it out and put it in the grouping? Absolutely. I'm going to put you on your own here. And Beautiful. if you have a quick happy birthday to, uh, to the man, you go for it. I'm going to put you just on your own right here. Okay. Beautiful. Great. Okay. Go, go for, for it, it, buddy. All right, Sylvester, I just want to say happy birthday and that uh, your whole life has been an inspiration to so many, but your life has been especially an inspiration to myself and you've motivated me in ways that I couldn't even possibly imagine. You've helped me through so many hard times in my life and I just want to say thank you for that and I want to say happy birthday, uh, Sylvester. Love you. Keep punching. Beautiful. Oh, Yo, perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Yo, Austin. That was fantastic. <laughs> I love that. That was fantastic. I love that. That was Austin. Austin, Beautiful. 
Guys, before we let him go, is there anything yeah. else that you want to ask, you want to bring up before we let this man go back in? Uh, no, I earn, just I earn his. <laughs> I just earn, want to earn say, his dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to say, hey, you know what? Aside from everything, thank you for what you do, your service, yeah. your sacrifice. You. Oh, that's yeah. that's number one. So yeah, yeah. Thank you. You you, you keep punching. You're keeping all of us safe, right? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Austin. Thank you. Austin, thank you so much. My best to the family, my friend. All Stop right, by my... anytime. Yes, sir. Definitely. All right. Take, Take it care, easy. Buddy. Thanks, yep. Austin. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Welcome back. What an interview. What an interview. That that, that guy, guy, that Love unbelievable him. guy. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable guy. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I got from, from Austin. I mean, here's a guy who's a U.S. Marine who said that he struggled with weight issues, um, his own family, his own family doubting him, uh, saying that he couldn't do it, couldn't make it, shouldn't do it. But he used Rocky as his motivation. Mm -hmm. And for me, he didn't just talk about the philosophy. He actually put it into action mm -hmm. to get through what's, you know, I can only imagine his rigorous training, the drills, everything right. that you have to do to become a U.S. Marine. He said with only Rocky playing in his head. So, I mean, right there, there's the story of someone using the Rocky philosophy and achieving a goal that he set out for himself. Yeah. Uh, he didn't let anyone stick a finger in his face and tell him he's no good to right. steal right. a line. He made it happen. And that's admirable. He didn't just talk about, oh, you know, I, Rocky motivates me. He he did it. He put it into action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. What, what what did you think, Stacey? That's yeah, that's what I got from from him. Yeah. I I mean I've always of course admired our military and I'm always so grateful for their service. But I, you know, anyone who's I just don't know how to keep, how you keep your cool. I mean I I went through nursing yeah. school and I know the stress that nursing school right. caused me. And I'm not in combat or mm -hmm. uh, you know facing you know well not to say not life threatening situations but you know violent situations. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I, yeah. And then I just you know, it's almost like Rocky or Rambo. They're almost like little soldiers, like little angels <laughs> on, on yeah. the you know, keep, keeping him going, helping him be strong, helping him be brave, helping him stay exactly. focused. Yeah. And, um, you know, to think that uh, he's not the only one, you know what I mean? To think right. that, that Rocky's helping our service members. I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's a whole it, different kind of... Yeah. thing you know that keeps us all a little bit safer and, and i just think how far yeah. and wide that that rocky encouragement um yeah really reaches if, is if is he, if he used know, it to become a soldier story. yeah it's yeah. amazing yeah I, so I, you know mine. i sometimes yeah. I, I can't fathom it i wonder i wonder how sly sometimes fathoms stuff like that you know yeah, what i mean like yeah, yeah. If, if you think about that stuff like you said stacy mm. how many people in, in in the army or whatever are using him this movie yeah. character music whatever they want to use yeah as motivation to keep the world safe it's yeah. crazy it's yeah crazy yeah very real thing and I, i've said it before yeah. this is like rocky nonfiction now you know what i'm yeah. saying because, yeah you know right. the the story is fiction but in a way it's it's very very true and very yeah. real because it translates mm -hmm. into real life situations where yeah. people are doing brave things and that's You're right that's cool. very cool to me but. unlike any movie or any character yeah ever, yeah right. right this guy has something yeah that for everyone. I can't exp can't explain it fully yeah. Well, that's that, that's just it. It's yeah. It's it's uh, that Rocky philosophy. I mean, he lived it. I mean, if you need you don't need any better example than right there. I mean, you know, to be overweight, to have your family so concerned, they don't want you to join the rigors of the military because you know it might not be good for his health. Yet he found a way through the character of Rocky to believe in himself, which mm -hmm. is something I completely can uh, relate to. Mm -hmm. But the thing I love about Austin is he does something more that I I was not capable of doing that that's one of the reasons why i respect him so much because he was willing to lay his life on the line to fight for our country and yeah. you know i just i don't have that type of courage <laughs> yeah i, I don't i'll Me tell you right now I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm i'm too frail plus i don't really like wearing all that green uh, <laughs> that's that's another <laughs> issue i have yeah yeah no, no it's social, it's issue. <laughs> but to believe in that and to use rocky for such a beautiful force in his life to 
fight for our country. Uh, again, if I was wearing a hat, I take my hat off to Austin. I love yeah. him. He's a great guy, and I look forward to seeing him again in yeah. the future. So, yeah. yeah, there you go. Absolutely. It was a great interview. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Great interview. What else we got this week, guys? Do we have any? Uh, what do we got for plugs? We got any plugs? You guys have any plugs? Well, we always. What do you, what do you guys want to talk about? Slice Stallone shop. Slice, slice Stallone shop. Slice Stallone yes. shop. Yeah, that's yes. right. For that's your right. Official gear. I, I don't have my Slice Stallone shirts uh, shops shirt on. Wow, he's got a mouth, mouthful. Yes. Slice Stallone shop shirt on. Well, okay. <laughs> But I do. I got the tiger jacket right over there. Nice. Yeah, I have about thirty eight hundred dollars worth of t shirts in the yeah. like, closet over here. Yeah. So I'm telling you, if the slice alone, we're gonna do a whole episode on the slice alone shop and what 100%. they offer yes. very soon. Very 100%. soon. I'm gonna pull out everything I have. I'm gonna do a whole yeah. thing about it. But the slice alone shop. When I was a kid, if we had a place like this. Holy jeez! Oh. In oh, the eighties, candy when, shop. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was a, a candy shop, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. go to the Slice Stallone shop, um, uh, and if uh, you're so interested, come to Philadelphia and take the Yo Philly Rocky. Yeah, film Yeah, I was tour. just gonna say Yo Philly Rocky film tour. Oh please, yeah, yeah. absolutely, Mike. When you you put that post out the other day of, of you wearing. Uh, the Adidas uh, uh, Italian sweater. Oh, my dad and Sly. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That, was, that. That was so adorable. beautiful. What a good dad. Yeah, and, he, oh, yeah, he, yeah he is. And what a sweet he man. Is. Yeah. When, my, when my sweater came in the mail, I almost... I almost... I know. I, had a t- I, I know the feeling. I wanted that I thing it. from when I was... The minute oh. I saw that scene and I saw being an Italian kid, when yeah. I saw that sweater <laughs> and I'm now the age that I am and I right. finally have it, it's too hot to wear it now. I can't yeah. wait for the too hot. Hot. To I walk agree. around with that thing. Mm. It's unbelievable. Yeah. That, you you a, should you should just for that you should go to stuff. You should go to your local grocery store and you should tell them that you need you're a meat inspector and that you need you need to inspect the meat where they hang yeah. the frozen beef and yeah, just really. go in with the sweatshirt on and just walk around and just yeah. put it on. And I can't wait. On you. No, no, I'm not done yet. I'll let you know. No. Thank you. I can- <laughs> I can't wait for the looks that I'm going to get. I, right? I, I also have the Italian stallion uh, shirt that I got too. That's a t-shirt. I went out in that. A few heads turned, believe me. Guys. Of course. And and also. <laughs> Jealousy. The, they were jealous. They yeah. No, it's probably like, how, where did that come from? Is kind of. Anybody gets out of line, just punch them. Right. Just in the face. punch right. them. You're allowed. Don't worry about you lawsuits. You're Don't allowed. worry about going to jail. You're if, allowed. If you're wearing Stallone gear. You're allowed. You, you're, yeah. you're allowed. You're, you're allowed. allowed. Yeah. No, no, don't. No, no, no. <laughs> that is not the message. No, absolutely. That's not the message. <laughs> That's not absolutely not. Violence <laughs> is not the key, kids. Never. Violence. Listen to your parents. Violence yeah. is the key. <laughs> Uh, anyways, anyway. yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Sly Stallone shop, uh, the old Philly Rocky film yes. tour. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Well, I want to plug for Jennifer Stallone. Um, okay. I use her skincare line, lady. Oh, so, okay. For the fe- for the females watching, uh, serious skincare um, yeah. is her is her skincare line. I've been using it for almost three years. So go ahead and look up serious skincare, Jennifer Amazing. Flavin Stallone. I never ever use skincare products for more than two or three months i'm like eh, i don't notice the difference eh, it's, it's not that great or i don't like how it feels or and i've been using hers for almost three so i love I mean, skincare. One, one question one question <laughs> on that now is there how can i put this is there an age requirement for jennifer's line because you i don't know are you quite 18 are you old enough <laughs> or do you have to get your parents signature <laughs> or is that the effect of the cream that makes this <laughs> Okay, I right. say it's the cream for sure. I'm 48 oh. and a half. You're 48. Uh-huh. What? Yep. What? I no. am. I'm an old lady now. I'm all pushing 50. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. But it does go by fast. It's like, what the heck? I'm pushing 50. When the heck yeah. did that happen? But um, like that. Sorry, Mike's like, shut up. But uh, yeah, no, I, I do. <laughs> I think we all look good. But you Amazing. know, my parents, my parents are very youthful too. So we I all use the cream. Have, yeah, but anyway, yeah. I, and yeah. they do have men's. She has men's really too. Yes, she absolutely well, does. So I'll have to look into that because I've been using olive absolutely. oil for the last 25 years. Yeah. <laughs> so, olive that's oil. The, that's the Italian uh, a little butter. Oil. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she actually has an, an olive oil. Uh, oh, does cream. she really? She does. She does. I mean, Not she has a ton. So no, anyway, yeah. I just I admire her because I like how she she has her own thing, her own, you know right. what I mean? I, I nice. love that. Yeah. I like yeah. that. So absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um Anyway, oh, and so to close out, we do 
and I always want to say to all our fans, please be sending us little messages, like yeah. 10, 15 seconds max, but anything you want to say to Sly, please feel free just to say yeah. hello, thank you, whatever it is. Just yeah. keep it short for us. But that is how and, we're going to close uh, this anything, episode. And anything anything yeah. you want to say to us, we, we yeah. love it. Whether it's yeah. motivational stories, inspirational yeah. stories, if you want to just tell us how we're doing, yes. if you just yeah. want to say hello, yes. share anything, just yeah, at feedback. the Rocky Files or mm -hmm. the Rocky Files gmail.com. Uh, yeah, we are. love hearing from everybody. Rocky fans are the best fans in the world. So the we want to hear from all you guys. All and humans. subscribe and, and comment below. And uh, we, yeah, we just love hearing from all of them, right? Awesome. Guys, we hit it out of the ballpark. I had a great time today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stacy. Yeah. Take us out. <laughs> all right. Thanks again. All right, guys. Keep punching. Keep punching. Keep punching. Keep punching. Good night, guys. <laughs>